Mark Smith, and he got to Mally there at the end, and it looked like he kind of had the race wrapped up, and then the yellow flag gives you a good chance. If you had to come from 11, you had to make a lot of moves. Tire conservation, of course, part of the game. Just take us through your race. Yeah, I mean, I, I knew the track rubbered up there, and I knew the only way I was going to try and get anybody was to set up the run around the top, which is really, really hard to do when the track's rubbered up like that. But I figured the longer I stayed out of the rubber, the better my tires would be at the end. And uh, we have quite a bit left, more than most. But uh, uh, it's, it's a tough deal with this, with this weather. It's so blistering hot out here. I don't know how you can keep any track from not doing what it did tonight. But uh, they're doing their best, and uh, we're going to stick with it. And uh, just hopefully we can be up here next week. How much momentum does this give you heading into next week's race? Well, my balloon kind of went <laughs> at, at, in the first feature there because that was a fresh motor we were going to have for next week, and uh, this one here is really tired. That's tired? You're in victory lane. Yeah, well, you didn't need a motor tonight, that's for sure. But uh, So now I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have to figure something out here. Um, how important is it for you to try to get a victory next week with the Mach 1 logo real big over that national ultimate? Well, I want to win all three of them because Mike's going to give us an extra 10 grand. <laughs> Mark Smith is chasing Mike Hefner's money.